This is Computer Insider, Canada's award-winning television series with Bob Pritchard. This week, we take you to the Comdex Computer Trade Show to see some rather unusual computer products. We'll also meet the people at Nintendo Canada to see Donkey Kong, their hot new Christmas game offering. This week on Computer Insider. Computer Insider is brought to you by AST Computer. You'll like the way we work. Sharp Electronics. From sharp minds come sharp products. Thank you very much for joining us again this week on Computer Insider. Off the top of our news front, well, it seems the bulletin board system operator from Boston's Eagle's Nest BBS has been charged and convicted with 34 counts of pornography-related charges in the exploitation of children. It looks like they were using the BBS system to distribute kitty porn. I wanted to bring this to your attention because there's a number of issues that come from online services with respect to sexual activity. First of all, there are an awful lot of predators on the internet. So if you have children around your location, you should be very careful as to the type of things that they're doing online. Secondly, if you happen to have been an individual who has logged on to this sort of a system, you should be aware of the fact that they record your name and other pertinent information. And as these places are shut down by the police, that information is collected and turned over to international law enforcement agencies. So our, our recommendation would be not to get involved in the first place and avoid all the problems associated with it. We understand that in Bosnia they're using CD-ROM technology to help uh, place children with their parents when they become separated through the war zone. What they've been doing is interviewing children and collecting pictures and names, putting that information onto a CD-ROM and then distributing it through the Red Cross. Now for children who are too young to remember their names, they're taking their photographs in the area where they were located. If you have family over there, you might let them know that this service exists. As always, we'll keep you apprised of all the information that's happening right here on Computer Insider. Computer Insider's Industry Insights has been brought to you by QMS, Seamless Network Printing. It was quite a surprise when I was at a recent computer conference in San Francisco, and they asked the question, who's the number one software provider in Washington State? Of course, that's the home of Microsoft. And uh, many of us, of course, thought that uh, Bill Gates and team would find out that Nintendo was the largest provider of software in Washington State. In fact, many of us think of these home games as merely toys. We did a little bit of research into their marketing, and in Japan we found that the Nintendo game systems are much more expanded than they are here in North America. For example, you could use your home game system to log on to a banking system. We thought we'd take a few minutes and meet with the folk at Nintendo to find out about the company and the products they're bringing into the marketplace. Uh, we have a, a real focus on software uh, for, the, for 1994. Uh, we've had some very, very strong software launches in the front half of the year, and uh, we're trotting out what we think is the uh, best software lineup we've ever had for uh, the Christmas season. Uh, we're very excited about the titles uh, that we've got out there. Uh, obviously, the, the home run title that we've got is, is uh, Donkey Kong Country, which is uh, the biggest and the uh, best video game ever, regardless of platform. When we, when we look at hardware, our, our uh, guiding philosophy is that the new hardware system has to be a significant breakthrough. Uh, and by that I mean it, it significantly and, and immediately enhances the gameplay experience. We're not interested in minor upgrades, we're not interested in expensive attachments because those cost uh, big dollars and we think it's unreasonable for consumers to pay that kind of money for modest upgrades. So the product has to be a breakthrough. As it relates to software, uh, more than most other companies, we invest heavily in software technology. Uh, that's enabled us to bring uh, uh, breakthrough technologies such as the Mode 7 graphics, the FX chip, and now the ACM technology, which has uh, uh, resulted in the creation of Donkey Kong Country. So on the software side, we focus in on te technology developments. On the hardware side, it must be a significant breakthrough. Games are typically designed to provide uh, many hours of, uh, of gameplay entertainment and, and one of the things that you'll find in a lot of games is, is many hidden levels and often a player will think they've completed the game and yet they haven't gotten into those hidden levels. What we recommend is, uh, is for players to subscribe to Power Magazine uh, which gives them uh, great insights into games and how they can get into those hidden levels and how they can really truly uh, explore all aspects of the game. Nintendo right now is, is very tightly focused on the entertainment medium, the, the, the game playing. Uh, we do not have at this point in time a commitment to multimedia. 
we're not sure exactly what multimedia is. It means a lot of different things to a, to a lot of different people. Uh, but what we are committed to, to, to doing is, is providing the ga best gameplay experience possible. And we will always be committed to that philosophy. If you're going out there this Christmas looking for a video game that you want to be a sure hit in the household, you're going to pick Donkey Kong Country because what you're going to get is 32 megs of memory, which equals uh, stunning visual graphics, a wonderful soundtrack, and hours upon hours of play. Worldwide, Nintendo is a uh, $6 billion business, and a business that has grown, grown extremely dramatically over the last uh, five years. Uh, in Canada, the uh, size of the market is uh, in excess of $330 million, and Nintendo holds a 60% share of, of that business. The home game market is going to expand dramatically over the next 12 months with the introduction of new 64-bit game machines, which should give us better throughput than we're seeing really on the high-end Pentium systems of today. Speaking about high-end products, if you'd like to get a copy of our weekly fax newsletter, all you have to do is call our fax on demand service. Simply dial the first number you see on the screen, and remember, it's best if you call from a fax machine rather than from a telephone. We've gone to great lengths to collect all sorts of news information so you can have the right data to get through the week. And also, we'd very much like to hear from you about what you're doing with your computer system. So drop us a note. That's the second number on our screen to the fax mailbox so that we'll know exactly where you are. Coming up a little bit later on, we'll show you how to make a 3D floor plan on Computer Insider. If you want to attract more business, you've got to work together. We all have our own special visions of where we want to be and how we want to work, wherever we are. At AST, we build computers to meet your worldview with award-winning products, service, and support. From notebooks to super servers, AST Computer. You'll like the way we work. Today's marketplace demands more information delivered faster than ever before. D-Link helps make that happen. D-Link manufactures network interfaces. D-Link connects computer systems with bridges and routers. D-Link writes network management software. D-Link manufactures computer networking and internetworking products to bring this world closer together. D-Link Corporation. When John Nagy joined CopyServe, he was new at computing and an old hand on the mountain. He joined to get more out of his computer and more out of life. On CompuServe, as on the mountain, there was always something to discover, like the solution to a software problem that wasn't in the manual, or being one of the first to know about that special vacation spot and how to save time and money getting there. The mountain was a source of satisfaction he would never outgrow, in a way a lot like CompuServe. For more information, call 1-800-554-4088. Start with the basics, news, travel, and encyclopedia, and more for just $8.95 a month. Then go beyond for free software and help with hardware and software problems. You'll get more out of your computer and more out of life. CompuServe, the information service you won't outgrow. If you think you have troubles keeping up with what's going on in the computer industry, just think of the problems that computer professionals are facing with all the new products coming out and all the new technologies that are happening. Fortunately, there's an annual get-together in Las Vegas at what's called Fall Comdex, where computer people meet other computer people to see new products and listen to seminars and just basically find out what's happening within the computer industry itself. Now, this is a huge show. About 200,000 people attend it. There are so many booths at the show that we worked it out that if we put on our jogging shoes, it would take us about three seconds in front of each booth to see all the booths that were available over the entire run of the show. So obviously no one person could get to see everything. But we did take our cameras onto the floor. We've got some footage for you and some very unusual products on Computer Insider. Today we're showing a, a cordless printer sharing kit. Uh, that consists of a, a transmitter and a receiver module. Uh, we hook up the computer side module through the uh, parallel port 
We can send a document to uh, any, any of four computers in, a, in an office type situation up to 100 feet away. We sell a lot of custom keys. Um, we specialize in doing a lot of large phone companies, any software programs. We design the keyboard so that the functions are right at your fingertips. We also do custom templates, custom overlays, and custom mouse pads. You can choose from uh, any of up to four printers. In this case, we're uh, sending to printer number one. Uh, and you've got a power on off switch, and it's as it's simple as that. We manufacture seating exclusively. Ergonomics, of course, being the, the process today everyone's interested in, we want to address the workspace, the task, the sitting intensive workplace. So we adjust chairs, we allow adjustments that can retrofit to chairs, special arms that you can retrofit, arms to track, arms that pivot. From underneath, it's width adjustment. Things like these tracking tables can go on and fit onto any chair. Then you can adjust the height to the work surface. This tray will slide in and out. Pivots this way, telescopes, height adjustment. Features on the, the backrest, because lower back support is so important, you can inflate an air pillow. It's in the lower back region. Then the chair itself has three levers of adjustment. This is the printer end, and you can have up to four printers on your system. Uh, in this particular case, this is printer number one. If you were in a system that had more than one printer, you would have the switch selecting whichever number of, of printer that it is. Uh, whenever you send uh, a document from the computer side, this is the, the unit that, that receives the information. It plugs into the Centronics uh, port in the rear of the, the printer, accepts the data, and prints the document. You can get any color key that you want, anywhere from pastel down to fluorescent. Um, we have any kind of types of colors on top or in the front of the key. Mouse pads can go anywhere from two color to four color process. Um, you can get anywhere from one key to a set to 101 keys in a set. I wanted to pass on to you that when we were interviewing Paul Teal in the chairs, that after we finished the interview, he took us to what has to be the world's biggest chair. In fact, I'm a bit on the tall side myself, so I was very pleased to get into the, well, it's mother of all chairs, I guess is the best way to put it. Most interesting of all was the fact that there was a number of products which addressed the ergonomics of how we work with the computer not necessarily in the office, but also at home. So we're seeing a whole new shift in what's happening in the computer industry, where it used to be based strictly on what you were going to do at the office. Now they're very much aware of the Soho, that's the home office market, and the home market itself for entertainment purposes. Speaking about entertainment purposes, we have the latest computer news available for you on our Fax on Demand system. That's the first number you see on the screen. Now we go out across all the industries to find out what's happening to give you a nice summary in a fairly brief format to let you know what's happening. We also want to know from you what you're doing with your technology. So that's the second number on the screen, our fax mailbox system. Coming up a little bit later on, we'll be talking with Larry Wasser or Beamscope, but up next, want to build your own house on Computer Insider. Only sharp presentation systems deliver the winning combination. Don't miss your next opportunity. Get the sharp edge from a family of incredibly vivid computer projection panels to our convergence-free LCD projectors. You too can have multimedia presentation power like never before. Up to 16 million colors in computer, video, or combined. Sharp presentation systems and you, the winning combination. Two days until the presentation. Plenty of time to pull it all together. Hi, Marcy. Sorry, the deadline moved up 24 hours. See you in the morning. Looks like a long night ahead. With her AST computer, she'll make it on time. AST computers in support for a winning performance. From notebooks to super servers, AST computer. You'll like the way we work. When John Nagy joined CompuServe, he was new at computing. 
and an old hand on the mountain. He joined to get more out of his computer and more out of life. On CompuServe, as on the mountain, there was always something to discover, like the solution to a software problem that wasn't in the manual, or being one of the first to know about that special vacation spot and how to save time and money getting there. The mountain was a source of satisfaction he would never outgrow, in a way a lot like CompuServe. For more information, call 1-800-554-4088. Start with the basics, news, travel, and encyclopedia, and more for just $8.95 a month. Then go beyond for free software and help with hardware and software problems. You'll get more out of your computer and more out of life. CompuServe, the information service you won't outgrow. Like many people, I've spent too many years sitting in my word processor trying to do diagrams and build charts and whatnot. So at Fall Comdex this year, I went to find a package that would let me be a do-it-yourself architect. And they came across a package called Floor Plan Plus 3D, which I think will just be ideal to do those home drawings. When we step into our new software package, the first thing we're going to see is we have a basic blank screen with our typical pull-down menus. Now, in this menu structure, we're able to actually pull out many types of appliances and other things. For example, what we've got here is the icon pulled out that allows us to build walls. We can build them any length, any size. There's a little menu down here in the corner that tells us about how far into the diagram we are. So it's important to make your dimensions relatively close, although because it's a Windows program, we can actually go back and edit the whole thing. Anyway, we've got our basic walls in place right now with our dimensions laid out around the entire room. So, you know, I'll bet that's an awfully dark room. So what I think we're going to do is add in some windows. Now, we've gone into the icon menu and selected a specific window. And all we have to do is put it in place as we've done here. In fact, why don't we take another window by going on and selecting, clicking onto it. We'll place it up here so we'll have the wall of glass in our new virtual house that we're building for ourselves. Now, a house wouldn't be complete if we didn't put in more utilities or more appliances and furniture. So what I'd like to do is to go in and select some furniture. Now, you can see up here how it's, it's rotating. This gives us a 3D view of what that specific piece of furniture will look like. We just take it into the living room, drag it in. This is Windows. We'll drag it in. Let's put it in this area there. It's a little bit on the big size, so we've just clicked onto the sizing icon. And what's happening is we'll reduce it. We'll push it in so it becomes much smaller, and then we'll let it redraw itself. The other thing we can do with this particular uh, object, as you can with any object, is we can rotate it by hitting the rotate button and again turning it around so we can have everything facing this way in the room, which will be the focal point for the room. What we're going to do once we get our chair set up is I think we should put, I don't know, some sort of a appliance in there because you can do stoves, fridges, fireplaces, furniture, windows. I think there's over 500 different objects that you can plant in here. So what we're going to do is take how about a stove? We got a stove there? Yeah, we got a stove there. And what we'll do is we'll drag it down and we'll put it up. We'll put the stove in front of the chair so we can watch everything cooking, I suppose. And just like we do with any object, we're going to take it and drag it down and put it into this area. But when it comes up, it's going to be much larger than we had otherwise seen. So you can reduce that down so it fits into the, the object that you're working from. Something else, I suppose, I mean, it's nice to have my little handy drawings, but it comes with a number of sample layouts. So rather than me messing around, we'll just load up, load up a sample, which we have on the screen now, and you get to see that it's got its sitting rooms and living rooms and kitchens and other, other areas. And, but what we can do here is we can use a 3D view by simply selecting where we want it to look into the room by moving the, the V around and then asking it to render the picture. At any rate, we've got our... Uh, room coming up for us. Now, why don't we go back over to the studio and have a look at the technical ease of this specific package. As it is with all Windows applications, it's best to have more memory rather than less memory. We suggest at least 16 megabyte, although the program will work with 8 megabyte. Don't forget, if you'd like to get a copy of the latest fax news information, call our fax on demand system. Call from your fax machine if you're out of town. That's the first number on the screen, and of course, we always want to hear from you, so send us a note to our fax mailbox. That's the second number that we have posted on the screen for you. Coming up, we're going to be meeting with the president of Beamscope Canada, Larry Wasser, to get some insights as to what's happening in the world of high tech for Christmas this year on Computer Insider.
Only sharp presentation systems deliver the winning combination. Don't miss your next opportunity. Get the Sharp Edge. From a family of incredibly vivid computer projection panels to our convergence-free LCD projectors, you too can have multimedia presentation power like never before. Up to 16 million colors in computer, video, or combined sharp presentation systems and you, the winning combination. Today's marketplace demands more information delivered faster than ever before. D-Link helps make that happen. D-Link manufactures network interfaces. D-Link connects computer systems with bridges and routers. D-Link writes network management software. D-Link manufactures computer networking and internetworking products to bring this world closer together. D-Link Corporation. Computer Insider is brought to you by Maxell. Every Maxell computer product is 100% tested, certified, and guaranteed for life to ensure that your precious data will be completely safe. Maxell, always a generation ahead. One of the questions that many of us are going to be facing this Christmas is what kind of a product or game machine should we be putting in our houses? Should it be a personal computer? Should it be a Sega, a Genesis? I mean, what route do you follow to meet the needs of the family for this Christmas? We went out to the marketplace and found the one person who would definitely have an answer for us. He's Larry Wasser, president of Beamscope, and Beamscope is the distributor for Nintendo, Sega, and the IBM PC line of computers, meaning that he has all these products in his portfolio. Larry, I was wondering if you could take a few minutes and tell us about how you see the marketplace evolving, what kind of machines somebody should be adding into their home this Christmas? Well, I think it depends on the age group. If uh, you're parents with uh, children that are, are uh, in the 7 to 11 year old range and maybe you've had a video game system at home, whether it be a Nintendo or a Sega, and you kind of want them to start doing a little bit more in the educational side, do a little bit of maybe what they're starting to do in the schools, and by, by having a computer at home you can actually bring, bring that learning home, then maybe I'd think about getting an IBM or an IBM compatible computer and we can start to teach our children at home and that homework becomes use on the computer and as we all see now by the ease of use this sort of plug and place uh, as the new kind of description that everybody's trying to use about how easy home computing is becoming I think that really now we can sit down with our kids and really with a real sense of ease get through a lot of great software. Larry I was wondering if you could go through each of the products separately maybe starting with the Genesis system. Well, Sega Genesis has launched uh, in the last couple of weeks their hot new game for Christmas, which is called Sonic and Knuckles. Uh, it's kind of a unique game because it does have what's called backwards compatibility, and that means that uh, when you are using Sonic and Knuckles, you can play the Sonic and Knuckles game, which is a new game, and then once perhaps you've gotten to the end of that and you're, you're at the end, you're, you're not uh, able to, to do any more, you can go backwards and play Sonic 3 and Sonic 2, which you probably own and have, and that actually changes the game by using Sonic and Knuckles. Probably the biggest player in the marketplace has to be Nintendo. What do you see happening in their portfolio this Christmas? Well, Nintendo's got uh, a, a huge new release coming out this month uh, called Donkey Kong Country. It's being supported by a massive advertising campaign. I'm sure most of us are going to see those ads on television and in print. The, the Donkey Kong character was one of their earliest uh, games done for the 8-bit Nintendo system, which many of us remember from five or six years ago, the first Nintendo. And they brought back the, the Donkey Kong character to what is, uh, they say, state-of-the-art, revolutionary type graphics and sound. And in fact, their slogan is Play It Loud. I think that this Donkey Kong Country game is probably one of the best games I've seen in the early stages that I saw the game being played for me at CES in Chicago in June. And uh, if the game's half as good as what I saw, I think this might be at the top of everybody's Christmas list. I have to tell you, Larry, that I have a personal bias towards the PC, the personal computer, because I see huge amounts of versatility in there. Uh, you distribute all sorts of products, computers, CD-ROMs, multimedia. Maybe you could tell us about what you see happening in the PC marketplace this Christmas. We've got uh, some terrific new software for this Christmas. There's uh, a number of different games, whether you want sports, it could be NHL Hockey 95, uh, role-playing games, we've got uh, adventure games, King's Quest 7, which is a very famous uh, series, and that'll be the sequel game. We have Wing Commander 3, which uh, 
uh, is an interesting game in that it's, uh, it's got three CDs in the box, uh, three hours of actual live motion digitized video, including uh, Mark Hamill, which is, as everyone knows, the famous Luke Skywalker from the Star Wars series. Uh, we also have uh, a title that everybody's talking about called Doom 2, which uh, may be the first million unit seller for CD. And uh, I think a, a great different cross-section mixed bag for whether you are a sports enthusiast or you're looking for a role-playing adventure game or even some great educational software, whether you're looking for a learning, reading, writing, math, spelling for your kids. There's a great, great cross-section. Of course, we can't overlook the encyclopedias, which everybody wants at the top of their list because it's, it's one of the wonderful things that you get from CD-ROM. Thank you very much, Larry. Larry Wasser is the president of Beamscope, a distributor for IBM, for Nintendo, and for Sega equipment, as well as a whole raft of software. It'll be interesting to see what happens at the end of this Christmas season, because our prediction is that there will be a lot of technology under an awful lot of Christmas trees, and a lot of very happy technology people come the day after Christmas. Speaking about the day after, we have our Fax on Demand news system waiting for you. It's available for you 24 hours a day, seven days a week, and it has the latest information about what's going on inside the computer industry. It's a free service. All you have to do is dial from your fax machine to the first number you see on the screen right now. And also don't forget we like to hear what's happening in your world of technology. That's the second number on the screen. Coming up, we see an ever-changing world in technology and it's being reflected in what's happening in computer shows, next on Computer Insider. This top marketing executive prepares himself for the demands of today's business with his new sharp electronic organizer. He has accelerated to the top through careful planning and organization, but he doesn't keep it all in his head. Instead, his competitive advantage is at hand. Always with him, ready with the information most needed, and sometimes with what's needed most. Sharp Electronic Organizers. If you want to attract more business, you've got to work together. We all have our own special visions of where we want to be and how we want to work, wherever we are. At AST, we build computers to meet your worldview with award-winning products, service, and support. From notebooks to super servers, AST Computer. You'll like the way we work. I was just reflecting, it's been about 15 years since I first started covering computer conventions, and I noticed a huge change this year, a change from even back when I started covering the computer industry for radio. Way back then, you had to be a techie or a rocket scientist or a propeller head to really understand what was going on in the shows. There were huge amounts of new products coming out, but those products covered a whole raft of different technologies, whether it was into business, into mainframes, or many computers. We would have thought by this time, 15 years later, that we would have established on some standards that would be in the marketplace where we would have a firm idea of what direction everything was going into. In today's computer industry, that's both right and wrong. Yes, we have a good working understanding of the DOS-based machines and multimedia and CD-ROM, but we're seeing a whole different era of discussion about microprocessors, whether it's going to be RISC, reduced instruction set computing, whether it'll be Pentium-based, whether it'll be some other type of technology that we're yet to see. The other thing that I saw at Comdex trade show in, in Las Vegas this fall was that for the first time, more than half the products that were on the floor were designed for average consumers. They weren't trying to get us to understand the inner workings of a microprocessor or what the little transistors or chips were doing on some specific board. They were showing us new games, new educational tools. They were telling us that everybody from the age of zero and up should be into technology because in the end it's the one tool that's going to help us survive. It's going to give us the types of information that we'll need to compete into the global marketplace. I was very impressed with the changes at Fall Comdex this year because we were now able to go back out as average consumers and really benefit in an easy way from the advantages of technology. If you're not involved, you should be. Reporting for Computer Insider, I'm Bob Pritchard. Computer Insider has been brought to you by AST Computer. You'll like the way we work. Sharp Electronics. From sharp minds come sharp products.